Their wingspan tends to be about nine feet, feet in length, so it's about the length of the canopy above our heads. Yes. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> they technically don't have them in our packet, so we're not really supposed to talk about them. <laughs> okay. But there should be a couple hippos that are over here on the left hand side. There was a baby one that was hanging out earlier today. Okay. Up here on the left hand side, these are going to be the Nile Crocodile. Now they reach to be about 16 feet in length, which is normally about as big as a giraffe is tall. normally helps the hatchlings hatch. The majority of their diet is actually fish. Okay, we're getting ready to head out into the most famous land, which is the savanna. Now the savanna is home to lions and uh, warthogs and also elephants, some of the more famous animals. Okay, if you look to the right hand side, this kind of funny looking tree here, this is called the baobab tree. Now the baobab tree is leafless about nine months of the year. It can store about 10,000 gallons of water in its trunk, which gives it the name the tree of life. Okay, it looks like I'm seeing some animal activity already. Oh, look at me. I'll see if I can get us a better look. Okay, so straight up ahead. Um, these animals right there are called the Ancoli cattle. They're also called the Watusi yeah. cattle, which is the name of the tribe that domesticated them. Their horns are six feet in length, and despite looking really heavy, they're actually very lightweight. The inside of their horns is hollow. It's made up of a honeycomb structure, which, which actually helps them cool down. Someone over there. Behind that tree. Really good to be. Straight up ahead, this is one of the Maasai giraffe. Now we can tell that it's Maasai because of the messy pattern that it has. Okay, if you look straight up here to the left, these are the spotted hyena. It looks like one of them's having lunch right now. They are a female dominated species. They're normally known to be scavengers, however, they are hunters. Yep, normally they have the females eat first, and then the males eat last. And even the lowest ranking female will always outrank the highest ranking male. <laughs> yep. Okay, up here kind of taking a nap, except for that guy right there. Those are the sable antelope. They are very aggressive and very territorial. Normally in a fight or flight scenario, they will always choose to fight. They're also on the emblem for the Kilimanjaro safaris, which is also kind of cool. Yeah. These guys to our left and right, these are called the white bearded wildebeest. They have a very high population density, second only to humans. So normally they'll hang out in groups of tens of thousands. Oh, 
This thing right here to my left, that is a termite mound. Now normally our animals like giraffes and elephants will use them as scratching posts once they get worn down. Some of our smaller antelopes will use them as perches to hang out from the hunt, uh, predator. <laughs> Yep, that one's one of the Ancoli cattle. Yep, so basically they're related to normal cows. But they have really cool horns. <laughs> yeah. So some more fun facts about the giraffe. Normally their pregnancy lasts up to about 14 months, at which they give birth standing up. So one of the first things a baby giraffe experiences is a six foot fall to the ground. But normally they're up and walking within that first hour of life. means the elephants or giraffes have been by. I mean, they'll keep their distance, but they get pretty close. They run it all way. Normally, some of our male elephants like to hang out up here on the right hand side. Oh, yep, there he is. Yep, so right back there, that's one of the adolescent males. Normally, males will leave home when they're about 13 years of age. They're another female dominated species. Should be able to get a better look at them. Pregnancy tends to be about 
two years or so. So repopulation efforts are kind of hard. Babies tend to be about 300 pounds when they're born. Okay, looks like there's a couple female elephants right here on the left hand side. Yep, see she's flapping her ears like that, that normally helps keep them cool. Yep, they also use dirt, mud, sand, basically whatever they can find as sunscreen. We got another female right we're up ahead. Finley, we're going in water. Oh, oh my god, we're in water. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yep, up that? here on your left hand side, these are the. Woo! Flamingos. Oh. Yep, so they get their pink color because of the brine shrimp that they eat. Now it normally takes them a year to reach that pink color. Normally when they're first hatched, their color or their feathers are gray. Normally about five feet tall and can hang hang out in groups of up to thirty thousand. Also, this island that they're hanging out on is kind of cool. If I'm not mistaken, it looks kind of like a giant Mickey. Could be wrong, though. can tell that because of their square jawline which they use for grazing. They're a little bit uh, bigger than the black rhinos. These guys tend to be about 5,000 pounds. If you look over here to the right there's going to be a couple ostriches. Yep. Looks like they kind of got away. <laughs> yep, those guys are females. We can tell that because of their gray feathers. And ostriches can't fly though. Yep, we're about ready to get into big cat territory, so keep your eyes peeled for some of the cheetahs and lions. Oh, yep, right up ahead. Those are the common zebra. Now, even though they appear pretty docile and calm, they can be pretty aggressive. Um, their hind legs contain enough power to break a fully grown lion's jaw. Here's a better look at the white rhino. They've gone that way. Yeah, it's that. Yep, so straight up ahead, this is the Kopi Rock Formation. Now, normally lions tend to hang out over here. Gives them a great place to sit and look for prey. It'll be pretty cool if there is a lion out right now. Normally they are very nocturnal. Normally sleep about 18 hours a day. I know. <laughs> Wish I could do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're too lazy. <laughs> And it looks like we're getting a better glimpse of the ostrich as well.
Okay, if you guys look straight ahead, right under this tree, it appears that there's a batch of ostrich eggs. Now, normally an ostrich egg will be about three pounds oh, each. Oh Normally a 250 mi uh, pound man can stand on them. They will not break. They are that durable. by generous donations to the Disney Conservation Fund. Okay, so up here on this rock, that is a yellow-billed stork. And normally they will eat fish, snakes, basically anything they can fit in their bill, including other small birds. Yeah, they're not very friendly. <laughs> yep, they'll normally follow around the Nile crocodile or the hippo and normally eat whatever they uh, drag up in the mud. If you look over here to the left-hand side, this is a scimitar uh, horned oryx. They can go nine months of the year without drinking water. Normally they don't sweat until their body temperature gets up to at least 115 degrees.